Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a minute since I last posted a video and I'm so sorry about that. I've been up and about doing a couple of things, but guess what? This is the day that the Lord has made. And today I want us to speak about ways in which you can learn how to let go. You see the way we always speak about how to learn to let go and let God. I'm going to tell you just how to do that. If you want to watch more of this video, stay tuned for more of this. First of all, I'd like to give you a disclaimer. I'm around a construction set and there's so much noise in the background, but guess what? We still got a man's got, wait, a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do, yeah? So number one, you need to learn that some people are not going to, are not meant to be throughout your whole, you, hey, sorry. <laughs> number one, you need to learn that some people are supposed to be at a part of your story, not your, not the full book. They're supposed to read such, certain chapters of your story and not all the chapters of your story. Uh, for me, that's something I've been really learning over, over and over for the past like six years because I've, I, I tend to be very attached to the people that, that I love and the things that I love but it got to a point where but I just had to figure out that you know what some people are just meant to be in your life or a certain part of your life not your whole life so don't beat yourself whenever you feel like people are about to leave you or you're about to separate get separated for some people you need to remember that some people are not meant to read the whole story of your life they're supposed to read just a few chapters or probably take part in a few chapters and leave so that for me has worked magic like nowadays I don't stress about if you want to go you can go because you know what probably your part of my story is over yeah so the second thing you need to learn is it's okay not to be okay ah uh, guys imagine if you want to cry a whole day you can do it but the thing you need to remember is you just have to wake up dust yourself and keep moving when whenever you you're separated from people you love it's usually a very hard time for most of us and you grieve you feel sad you probably start to think that maybe i'm the four i'm the reason why they've gone or maybe i'm not good enough or maybe i'm not what but you know what it's okay you can cry you can do all that but remember at the end of the day you need to wake up and move on move on yeah that's that's the second thing just it's okay to be it's okay not to be okay but you know what you won't cry forever just sit down cry it out then wake up and move on with life like nothing ever happened yeah the third thing is well i'm not sure everyone will agree with this but sometimes um how do i phrase it you just make sure you get rid of anything that will remind you of this person so for example it's if it's a, if it's something they gifted you or if it's social media or if it's anything that usually works for many people like you just just cut it you need to cut it yeah just you know what just cut it off because if it's going to help you to get over this person then why not do it you can't as i said you can't keep grieving forever so you need to find ways of moving on and being happy with yourself and yeah so if you need to cut anything cut it imagine you can you can do it and you will be okay so the fourth thing is you need to learn how to distract yourself this can be done in many ways you can find a new hobby you can travel you can get out be out going try out different restaurants read more books but the thing is remain distracted because the moment you're idle is when you start to think about all your problems start to think nani has left me now i'm alone i'm lonely yeah you don't have time for that so just make sure you're distracted and make sure you have things to keep you busy yes and the last one is remember that happiness comes from within like that's one thing that you always have to remind yourself that nobody is going to bring you happiness on a silver platinum Pla platter nobody's going to make you happy you have to it has to start from within you have to find things that make you happy you have to remember that happiness is not materialistic it's not by someone it all starts from within so the moment you learn where happiness comes from honey you will be on the journey towards letting go and doing what letting go so i hope that these five points have really helped you and made you a better person and in case you're in this season whereby you're learning how to let go i hope that they've really 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 come a long way in helping you do that thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for always being so supportive you guys are amazing make sure you subscribe in case you've not make sure you like my channel and share with all your friends you might find someone who really needs to hear this thank you so much till next time goodbye